Hey guys, Gunfather here. Welcome back to my office for the episode of Firearms Friday. Today for Firearms Friday, we're going to be discussing the Barnes TAC XPD. Um, this is a factory load from Barnes. This is a 185 grain, 45 ACP, and they do make them in, in all your major calibers, but we're going to be testing the 45 ACP. This is a 185 grain solid copper bullet plus P load moving a reported 1,000 feet per second. Um, they have the Technic Barnes Technochrome coating, which is supposed to help with reliability of feeding through automatics. Um, and uh, for this test, we're going to be shooting these out of the CAR CW45. Um, the reason I chose the CAR for this is not only it's what I've been carrying as of recent, but instead of using a full 5 inch barrel 1911 I figured shooting them out of what would actually be a defensive pistol what somebody would actually carry um, would be a better would give us a better report on how these bullets will perform if used in a defensive situation this has got a 3.6 inch barrel and considering these are defensive bullets I wanted to shoot them out of a defensive pistol so got four tests that I want to do. Um, one, the first test will be just straight water. We're going to shoot it into a five gallon bucket of water, attempt to capture our bullet and see what kind of expansion and weight retention we get into just plain water. Um, the next test will be through wood and into water. Um, we're going to be shooting it through an inch and a half piece of uh, just an inch and a half board um, and see what type of weight retention and expansion we get after it goes through a board which kind of will be simulating shooting through a door or maybe a wall if you hit a stud um, and trying to hit somebody on the other side uh, we want to see how they would perform if you had to shoot through a barrier um, being solid copper they should travel through barriers very well uh, the, the next test is going to be what would be simulated flesh and real bone We've got a, the bone from a deer leg, and it will be wrapped in Play-Doh, which I have found in the past that Play-Doh actually does a really good job of simulating flesh. So that is going to be our third test, is through flesh and bone. And our fourth and final test will be uh, denim in, into a watermelon. So I've found also in the past that I, this is a small channel and I can't really afford to buy a lot of ballistics gel. So I've used watermelon in the past in my test medium and it has always worked really well. So that is going to be our fourth and final test is the denim and watermelon test. So enough talking about these things. Let's get to shooting them. First up, we've got our just straight water test. So check this out. Yo guys, get a look at those. We go. All right, let's see if we can't find a round. Oh, all right, well, this is absolutely awesome, guys. It actually didn't penetrate all the way through one bucket this time, it only it stopped at the very end of the first bucket. What's really cool is it obviously flipped around backwards and uh, look how well this thing expanded. That is absolutely beautiful. We'll dig that out of there and check it out. Well, all right, well, just as I expected, it performed flawlessly in the water. Um, I'm assuming this is probably full weight retention and as you can see, that is absolutely full expansion. Um, so, into the, to the just plain water test, let's see here, yeah, 184.9 grains, which that the .1 could actually be a variance in the scales, but uh, that is a perfect performance in just plain water. So, next up we've got our wood test. So, we're going to be shooting it through a one and a, half, one and a half inch thick piece of board and into a five gallon bucket to capture it and see what kind of expansion and retention we get in that. So check this out. Here we go. Penetration test through 
one and a half inch board, Barnes Tac XPD, 45. path of our bullet shot through the board into our five gallon bucket the bullet did penetrate solid copper round blew right through that board and it has a nice exit hole went through our bucket right out the back side into our gallon jug right out the back of it and then on the slow motion replay there you can actually if you look close you can actually see where the bullet exits the water jug here and hits bounces off of this jug of detergent and bounces down here on the ground and ends up over here so it did have a ton of penetration even after going through a inch and a half of board, but as you notice, it did not expand, and that big giant tip that uh, I'm assuming is supposed to help it expand when it fills the material um, just clogged up with just wood. So um, you got a lot of penetration out of it, and maybe it was slowed down too much by the board, and that's why it didn't expand. But I also wonder if that tip didn't clog, if it might have expanded when it hit the water. So, um, it definitely penetrates, but the expansion just wasn't there. Well, all right. Well, that was somewhat disappointing. I really had hoped to see that this thing would still expand after going through the board. But uh, the tip of it just totally clogged. And as you can see, it didn't expand in the least. It actually went the opposite way and kind of collapsed in on itself and trapped all that wood inside the tip. It's got a very large tip so clogging may actually be an issue in these loads. Um, I'm, I'm sure it was full weight retain. Actually we've got 187.8 grains so we actually picked up three grains of wood with our Barnes copper bullet here and uh, the one thing I did notice is that it seemed like it had a, a lot of penetration. So that's, that's kind of a good thing. If it's not, if it's not going to expand, um, penetration would be the next thing that you want. And uh, going through wood uh, and still having all that penetration, that's not such a bad performance, but still would have liked to have seen it expand like it's, like it's supposed to. Well, next up, our flesh and bone test. So here we go. Alright, this should be another pretty interesting test. We've got our Barnes TAC XPD. We've got, this time, this is a deer leg, actually. This is the bone out of a deer leg. Um, and around it, I've got some Play-Doh, and that is to simulate, like, human flesh. Um, this would simulate either, simulate either, like, a chest bone of your, your uh, ribs, or, um, say somebody's turned sideways and you're trying to get a center mass shot on them, you know, you're going to have to go through their arm. So this could also simulate, you know, the flesh on somebody's arm and their arm bone. So we're going to see if we get any expansion and what kind of expansion we get going through flesh, bone, and then into the water to simulate more soft material. Can't find those bullets. That was great. Right, right here is where I was shooting from. Um, this actually landed between my legs. This big, this would simulate a big giant chunk of flesh. And then here is a giant big piece of bone splinter. So that thing threw flesh and bone about 10 feet back. 
and as you can see it's all the way more flesh and then say it's safe to say it was a direct hit on the uh, bone there looks like we went right through our flesh and bone so now the big question is did our round expand went through the back of the jug as you can see here's where it came out of the jug so it obviously had some deviation inside of there and then it looks like it cut the edge of this uh, detergent jug but didn't actually go in it because right here laying on the ground is our round and it is absolutely perfectly expanded slight bit of play-doh there on the side so it took a little flesh with it that's okay but uh, looks like that one did exactly what it was supposed to do so that uh, in my eyes kind of is that's exactly what I want if I'm shooting into a person through flesh and bone that's what I want to see and it Barnes TAC XPD delivered all right guys well that was awesome um, it absolutely annihilated the uh, bone, it just splintered that bone into a whole bunch of pieces and uh, sent Play-Doh flying everywhere as our simulated flesh. Uh, and as you can see, we got full expansion, so if you were shooting into flesh and bone, I guess you could expect the uh, Barnes TAC XPDs to perform as they're supposed to. And we've got 184.8 grains of retention so basically full weight retention um, that is a very good performance through flesh and bone that's what you want to see and especially through simulating shooting into a real person now our fourth and final test is our denim and watermelon I said it's a small channel. I don't. I can't afford to uh, buy a lot of ballistics gel, so I've got. I've used watermelon in the past. It always works really well, and uh, I'm not sure what the actual FBI standard is on how many layers of denim to use. But we've got two layers of denim and our watermelon, and uh, we're going to see how these things perform in a simulated ballistics gel test with our denim and watermelon. So here we go. Two layers of denim. 45 ACP. All right. Let's see if we caught our bullet. Ballistic watermelon. Alright, well first off, here's our uh, watermelon test medium. And uh, looks like we blew straight through both pieces. of our denim just fine and I don't know it may have some denim in the tip when we find it it definitely went into the bucket and never came out so it's got to be in the bucket but first uh, the watermelon is a total of 11 and a, or 10 and a half inches uh, it blew it immediately into three pieces and if you look, you can actually see the entrance and you can see where, where it actually tore chunks out of a watermelon. I mean, that's not how normally a watermelon's cut up. And then it looks like once it got to this, the end of it, because this was where the bullet entered on this end, it just blew it into it. That's where the bullet had almost probably totally expanded. And you can see where it did the most damage back here. And that starts, I don't know how scientific this is, like I said, it's a watermelon, at about 7 inches. And it's like that all the way through on all, all three pieces. You can see it really tore it up towards the back. Now, let's look in the bucket.
Um, or, well, the one we shot through the board, the tip had totally clogged, and it didn't expand at all. So I was wondering, looks like this one here expanded, and I don't see any denim in there anywhere. And it looks like, for the most part, this thing had totally expanded. Um, uh, something may have knocked it, it may have tumbled and hit this back, hit the bucket coming in backwards, or who knows. But it uh, looks like it had opened up all the way at some point. All right. Well, all right. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, it performed flawlessly. The inside of that watermelon was just absolutely annihilated. It just turned that the inside of that watermelon into a pile of mush. Um, it looked like pudding inside there. Um, I was very happy to see it. To see you could actually tell when it went into the watermelon, which, as you saw in the video there, where the where the bullet really started to uh, get to its full expansion and uh, really started to do the most damage. And it was at a point, which was seven inches, which would have been a very good depth for a human person. Um, and no tip clogged whatsoever from the denim. So the Barnes Tac XPD in our ballistics, simulated ballistics gel test, did flawless and uh, very happy with these. I probably will be using these as my carry load for the next little bit. Um, until I find a bullet that will perform any better in my car here. And just as our other rounds, full weight retention with 184.9 grains. So that is a solid performance from the Barnes TAC XPDs here. Um, like I said, the only one that we didn't get are, are the performance that we were desiring was our wood test. And uh, I do believe that's more than likely due to the solid, the, the, the large opening on the tip and just getting totally clogged when it went through that wood. Um, you're probably not going to be shooting through wood a lot of times, so not really a big deal, but still would have liked to have seen it perform better. Um, that also might have been because it is a, the 45 ACP is a slower moving round than most. So in all the other major calibers, you know, you're moving a, a quite, a, quite a bit faster than the 45 ACP. So we may come back to these bullets and test them in a 9mm and see if they perform the same or better through wood out of a 9mm. But for now, this has been our 45 ACP test with the Barnes Tac XPDs. Um, I also, before we go here, it looks to me like the, very, the first one in through the water has got the widest expansion so I'm going to find out just how wide this expansion is at its widest point here we have got 8.17 inches I'm sorry yeah 0.817 so almost an inch at, at from a 45, so expanding from 0.45 to 0.817, so almost doubling in size after expanding to its fullest point. So, like I said, a solid performance from the Barnes Tac XPDs. Um, and these will probably be my carry loads for the next little bit. Like I said, till I find something, if I can find something that'll perform any better. So guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you guys like this stuff, as always, please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want to see plenty more of this, hit that subscribe button. We do these Firearm Fridays from time to time. We've got our uh, Trick Shot Tuesday videos that we do every week. So I'll see you next week. Gunfather out. And of course, you know, we have to know what kind of explosion we can make with the uh, Barnes Tac XPD.
fire with the dud. But uh, right on target as always. <laughs> I told my wife if we got this watermelon, we'd be able to eat it when I was done shooting it. It wouldn't hurt it too bad. I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs>